This is the future. When we talk about Prutea, we often talk about two things commonly, but mind you, there are other setups for this Warframe just like nuking with her fourth. It's just, those kinds of setups take a lot of effort to pull off. That is why players often talk of simple DPS setups like her turret and when it comes to the Helminth, we talk about the dispensary. One is a great DPS if modded well, and one is a great support not just for Prutea, but almost all Warframes can benefit from Dispensary if you pair it with Equilibrium. Well, if you decide to though. But we are not here to make Prutea a support Warframe, today, we will be discussing an updated turret build. A brave turret build that is because normally in the past, I pair Prutea with the Ensnare ability, then group enemies together and burn them down with her Blaze Artillery turret. For survivability, well, I use the trusty Hurra's Cubra with its Stalk Augment mod that allows the user to go invisible whenever there is enemy within 10 meters, and while you are not attacking using your weapons. It's a pretty simple but fun to use synergy that allows you to group enemies and nuke them with turret, while staying alive with your invisibility. The only problem is, it fails sometimes and it's lame to be invisible and not saying such gorgeous skin for Prutea. So, I devise another combo for this Warframe, this time around, I am making Prutea a tank warframe that will face tank enemy aims and just want them burn in hell with my turrets. And yes, did I mention about Heat Inherit? What is Heat Inherit squad leader? I'm new to warframe, okay, let me explain it briefly, Heat Inherit uses base damage of the weapon you're currently applying heat stacks with. The heat percentage and faction mod percentage from the weapon to apply the first heat stack get added to your DPS weapon and will use its base damage for calculations after heat stacks get refreshed by its procs. Damage gets multiplied again by the faction percent of the DPS weapon. In short, if you apply the first heat stack with a 225% heat with primed heated charge and scorch, and then 55% faction secondary and continue applying more procs with a 55% faction DPS weapon heat stacks will use the base damage of the DPS weapon, 225% heat and 55% faction from the secondary and multiply everything by the DPS weapon's 55% faction. Ok, to paint a clearer picture. We will use a weapon to apply heat first, and then the damage from that weapon gets added to the blaze artillery of Prutea. Now, it would be wise to have a secondary weapon apply the heat status first, since it can equip the primed heated charge along with a faction mod but, for this synergy we will be using the sweet doom music, or the Kuva Ogris in normal warframe name. Why the Kuva Ogris? It's not only heat base, but it can apply heat stack fast and it lasts long with the help of napalm grenade mod. Plus, the area of application can be widened with the help of Primed Fire Storm. Not to mention that we are using a Gloom Prutea build that slows enemies within a certain radius and in steel path levels. They will often rush in that circle of slow, allowing you to hard CC enemies and kill them in one strike. Here's the build I'm using for Kuva Ogris. It's just all about being the first weapon for the Heat Inherit mechanic but mind you, once primary merciless damage stacks kicks in, it can also kill enemies. Why no galvanized status mods? Well, it does not work on AoE so why bother? Also, you must see to it that heat is dominant in the damage distribution, which is why I choose to have more heat mods compared to viral. Why there's viral on the damage? To give more damage buff to each burn since viral has somewhat a direct damage buff to health which makes the burn ticks bigger. For the Prutea build, it's all about duration. Why so much duration and no power strength? Blaze Artillery scales better with duration, as the longer it's in the field, the more damage it deals. The major rule though is that you need to group enemies together to be more efficient with the damage stack of the turret, that is why I highly recommend you adding Magus Anomaly in your build. But I'm too scared of grouping enemies because they would kill me. Don't be as this build got every form of survivability and tack. First of all Gloom provides crowd control and health regen per hit. Secondly, we got shield gating mechanic from Prutea's first ability but before that, they have to take the shield down a Prutea with adaptation on, and there's mecha set that provides huge armor buff. To give it more boost, I decided to give Prutea our cane guardian. Is it reliable though? Can you proc the mecha pulse effect often? Yes you can since we are mainly dealing with burn status to kill enemies which is one element that can proc the mecha sets effect easily. And of course, there's the Equilibrium mod to maintain the energy of Prutea through Dispensary. 
One last thing is the Artian Vitality, that lets you apply 2 burn in one status which is quite nice for the damage over time effect. Normally, you would see enemies melt away as they are very susceptible with this kind of damage, especially if you strip their armor and shield with Unaru. And yes, using Unru in this setup gives you two benefits, one is for defense stripping, and the other one is for knockdown negation, which is kind of handy especially if you are grouping enemies with Magus Anomaly. So that's all you need to know with this Protea build. Now go face tank enemies and burn them to hell. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.